Question number 23, we are told, state what is meant by relative atomic mass of an element, and you get one mark. So you, 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 you answer it like, the, it is the mass of one atom. It is the mass of one atom. Our, of an element compared compared to the mass of one twelfth one twelfth of carbon twelve. So that is how you define uh, the relative atomic mass of an element. Part B, a compound of uh, carbon and element X with formula CX4 contains 3.6% carbon by mass. Calculate the relative atomic mass of X. So this is how you go about it. Rate the relative atomic mass. Uh, read the relative atomic mass which we, ca we, we call RAM uh, B <laughs> not is uh, of X bn so we say if we put carbon here and this is x uh, we know the relative uh, atomic mass of carbon is 12 and then we say for x it is n uh, so we say the percentage uh, mass uh, let's correct this let's put it clearly here uh, so we say carbon and x so we say the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12 and that of uh, x is n and that is uh, r a m then we say percentage percentage we are told for carbon it is 3.6 percent and uh, if this is 3.6 uh, if you subtract from 100 then this one is 96.4 percent that is uh, 100 minus 3 minus 3.6 you get uh, 96.4 uh, so that is a percentage of element x uh, so it can get number of moles number of moles you divide the percentage 3.6 you divide by 12 uh, here you divide the percentage 96.4 you divide by 12 uh, so you get this one you get it is 0 0.3 and uh, uh, let's write that okay, it is 0 0.3 and when you divide this since n is unknown you still end up with you still remain with 90 uh, 94 96.4 divided by n the ratio uh, x is one and no c carbon is one and x is four so this is the ratio is one is to four uh, therefore if you divide uh, 96.4 divided by n if you divide by 0 0.3 you should get four because of the ratio here uh, so you can get now our n is equals to uh, 96 now you can uh, write it like this uh, mathematically 96.4 divided by n uh, you multiply by 1 divided by 0 0.3 is equals to 4 so our n is equals to 94.96.4 you divide by uh, 4 multiply by 0 
and that should give you 80.3. So the relative atomic mass of uh, X is 80.3. And that's how you answer that question. You get yourself three marks.